Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, it's your boy Weasel and we are gonna make our way back home to home base after uh, a uh, adventure in the nether and uh, yep we made our way back out with an obsidian portal but we're a little bit uh, further removed from home base than I hoped I would because any distance you travel in the nether is like uh, 16 blocks further. I mean one block per se. If you walk 100 blocks in the nether, it's 1,600 blocks in the overworld. So I'm actually a little bit concerned because I don't know how far this is, but part of the plan is to um, find our way back home. And I don't really have... The best thing I can do is uh, face in the right direction. So this one is going to be facing... Where, where is the north and this is west? We kind of have to go southwest. That would be this way then. Southwest, like this direction. It's gonna take uh it's gonna take us a hot minute, but I figured it would be fun to spend a episode outside. Hey chicken! I wish I could take you with me, but I can't. Cause it's a long it's a long trip. It's a very long trip. I could go by coordinates and just, you know, orient myself on those. Oh horse. If I only if only I would have brought a horse or a saddle. I, I don't think you can, you can, you can, no, 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 I, can, I cannot ride those. Without a saddle, that's not gonna happen, boys. That's not gonna happen. I think I could tame them, but that would be about it. I don't think uh, <laughs> that I'll build a railway all the way back uh, to this location. Because, I mean, that would take forever, and... I feel it would be faster to build that through the nether, like a pathway through the nether to reach this uh, distance, than anything else. We could also go over water, because I feel that would be fairly quick. Um, you can see our little dot moving a little bit towards the middle of the map, so that's that's a good sign, I think. That it doesn't take forever, so it doesn't mean we're not too far away on one axis. Would you... Please let me pass. Thank you. Let's try not to die by falling down. That'd be that'd be great. So, hmm, lots of water. Should I swim through? I don't know. I also don't have tons of food, but that's okay. You know who who needs food when they have the sun? I'm a breatharian. Those are supposedly things, and I don't believe in it. I have, it's just, you can't, you, you can't live just on air. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's not possible. I don't even know why I brought this up. Oh, because I only have a few steaks with me. It'll be good enough. I doubt it will take too long. If I could, you know, pick something, I would like to find some bees nests. That'd be fantastic. Okay. Once we have the coordinates of our home, when we make it back there, we... White horses? Wow! Uh, now I wish I had a saddle. Now that's cool. And plenty of horses. And a big old mountain. What was I saying? I forgot. I'm just getting completely distracted by my own trains of thought. Uh, yes. White horses. That's all that's in my head right now. Got some cows. I guess I could, you know. I mean, if don't mind if I do. If I just uh, have a little, a little, little meaty snack here, and get that leather while we're at it, because I need some leather. And oh, jeez. Sorry. I I I need the leather. It's nothing personal. Only two leather from four cows. That doesn't seem quite right. Did I do something wrong? Do I need to... Um, let's walk past this, man. Let's not go through. Ooh, a nice little plateau. And what is going on here? Is this just uh, the whole thing just hovering in the air? Got some water flowing down there. Oh, no, it, it is connected. Now, that's pretty neat looking. Not gonna lie. Part of me now wants to look into this cave. 
I don't know. It's just... Oh, it's very small. Okay, never mind. Ow, that wasn't really worth my time. Luckily, we didn't have to invest too much. Give me some torches. So we can have a look. Hello. Cool, this leads nowhere. What is it with these nowhere leading caves? Unacceptable. We could swim up there to get up on that hill. Oh, boy. Talk about... Uh, what is that, a crevice? I don't know, a canyon. Yes. This is quite the canyon -y situation. Am I still going in the right direction? Uh, we're going... I don't even see the... South. Okay, okay, we're going south. That's good. You know what's the worst? Mosquito bites on your foot. It's, it's really bad. You can't really wear shoes because they keep itching on the spot. But if you don't wear shoes, you have free access to your foot and you can scratch it. And yes, Lauren keeps telling me, like, so just, just don't scratch it. It'll go away. It is so difficult to not scratch a mosquito bite for me. I don't know. I don't know how people do it. I just want to constantly scratch it. Never stop scratching. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves some jungle. I wonder... No, I don't know how far away we are. But part of me wonders if this is the same uh, jungle biome that we had at the north part of our map. Well, only one way to find out. We shall go there. I feel the... Um, would it be the longitude or the latitude? One of those things would match up. So it's not outrageous. Ooh, hey, what's... Wait, 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 what is that? What are you? Excuse me. See, this is why I wanted to go explore, so we find all of these weird things. What is that? Is that just... What are those? Oh, those are cocoa beans! Hey, We can plant those, I think? I want to say, I don't, I don't know how to plant those. Do you just plant those in the ground? I don't know. I, I honestly have no... Okay, so you can plant them on the tree again? I'm so confused by this. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's uh, that's the thing. You're most likely going to tell me. All right, then. It's getting a little bit darker, so we should, we should keep that in mind. As we uh, try to orient ourselves, we're still going south. Good. Oh, hey, who's there? It's a bunch of cows. I'm gonna need your leather. Man, I went from never wanting to hurt a cow to just like, give me all the leather. I should really get this mod that allows me to cure zombie flesh into leather. Problem is, when you're playing on a new version, a lot of mods are just not made for it. Um, for this version, and downgrading a world is not an option. All right, I think it's getting fairly late, so we're gonna just get some sleep. Still looking for a beehive. I would love to find one of those. All right, let's uh, throw some stuff into our backpack. Just so we're not running out of space. And I should also eat something. Look at, look at hungry boy over here. I'm a very hungry boy. Ow. Wait, can I just... No. For a second, I thought I could just eat cocoa beans. I feel that would be not a good idea. Are there coffee beans in Minecraft? If not, I'm very sad. I don't think there are coffee beans in Minecraft. If there are, I will have to find them. It's not even up for discussion. That's just a thing I'll have to do. Well, that's certainly a very cool-looking jungle biome. Man, this would have been also a really cool location. Just to uh, have... A house. Ooh, ooh, hi! How about we take a little detour here and just uh, say hi to our friend Boom Boy. Well, that was good. That was that was a solid explosion there. Very proud of you. Very proud. Explosion of the uh, of the week. Very good. Very helpful as well. 
So, there you go. You know what would be a great mod, by the way? Ooh, 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 iron. I will, I will take that, thank you. Ooh, more, please. Uh, a great mod would be a Dwarf Fortress conversion mod where you can play your Dwarf Fortress world in Minecraft and then see your fortress. Maybe even, you know, just load into it and check it out while you play Dwarf Fortress. That would be so cool. All right, you know what? We're gonna, a quick excursion. The quick underground excursion. We're doing it. We're doing it live. What? Oh, okay, that's deep. That's, no, we're not going there. Don't, don't be silly. That just, that'll just spill my end, won't it? Hi. Please go away. So, yeah, let's throw some stuff in the backpack. Otherwise, we're gonna have big old problem with room in it. Yes. Let's put all the fungi in there. The raw beef. I only have one beef left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very troubled boy. No. No. Okay, that didn't work out as well as I intended, but... Far enough away to not really hurt me. Oh boy, I'm level 30? I'm gonna have to spend those levels on something. Well, I have some leather, so I could just, uh... Put some stuff in some books. I have to build more bookshelves. And it seems breaking down bookshelves doesn't give you a bookshelf back. At least that happened the last time. I wanted to break down a bookshelf, and I'm like, wait, where, where did it go? So, I might have to look that up. Because if that's the case, I'm going to have to start planning for a library to start building on. Because that's eventually where I would li what I would like to have. Not necessarily in my house, but maybe like a wizard tower. There's just too many things I want to do in this game. It's, it's a curse. It's a curse. Hi. Um, left, right. Yeah, let's go this way. I see, I see coal and I see iron. Maybe we're going to need a lot of iron for a lot of train tracks. I don't know yet. Somebody suggested I check out the trains mod because I've been having fun with the rail carts. But to be honest, that's insane. I mean, the mod is fairly old. And by old, I mean, you know, it's been around for some time. But wow, is it advanced. It, it seems rather insane. You have bullet trains, steam trains, you have like the whole machinery to dig tunnels underground. It's very cool. And I probably talked about this already, but yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, integrating this into this world. Gotta, gotta stick a little bit to vanilla. But maybe, eventually, mod it. Uh, do we go... Shall we dare delve deeper? Yes, we shall, and that's about it. Cool. I don't need to close anything off. We're just gonna leave this behind and never return, most likely. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Uh, uh, I'm gonna leave out. I'm gonna leave one torch here just uh, as a reminder for myself if I ever come back. Ow! Well, knock yourself out. Ooh, is that another K? Oh, wait, I've been here. And this one just, yeah, this doesn't end anywhere. Let's put a. Torch here too. Okay. Hi, I'm leaving, and you're burning. As Notch intended. Burn, foul beast, burn! I'll still take that fro uh, rotten flesh, thank you. All right, map. Yeah, facing east, north, south. Good, we go south. Oh, more cocoa beans. Yes, I will. I will gladly take those. As you can tell, this this episode is just me running around being a goober. But that's that's part of the experience, you know. And for whatever reason, some of you seem to enjoy that. I'm I'm I stopped questioning this a long time ago. About three episodes ago, I think, is when I, is when I stopped questioning this. Uh, I have a friend who watches. He, he he knows. He knows that I'm referring to him. And I told him, it's like, I'm so sorry that you're watching. He's like, I mean, you know, like when I play games with my wife, I, I, I watch you. And 
I, I feel so awkward about it. Which is super odd because, you know, there's about, from the numbers, like 500 to 1,000 that watch Minecraft on my channel regularly. And I'm not sorry for that. I mean, maybe a little bit. But when it's a friend and I, like, talk to him in person, I'm like, I feel like I'm stealing their time. I... Maybe it's not as acute um, as if I don't know the person who's watching. Because, uh, I mean, you know, you're all real and, you know, you're all spend your time watching. But since I don't talk to you directly a lot, I don't feel like you're spending that time. Is that weird? I don't know. It's, I think it's just because of, like, the removed factor. It's it's difficult to imagine, I guess, like, well, can you fit, like, a thousand people in a movie theater, like, uh, in, into a single room? I, I think, nah, maybe a few hundred, like, in a really big one, like, IMAX or so. It's really difficult to imagine just a thousand people. Or even 500, like, let's just go with a really big movie theater. Just watching my video you know because it's there you know it's not that there's anything revolutionary or mad wow this jungle is huge uh going on in these videos it's just me rambling and playing a game but if you didn't imagine people like going out of their way to oh we were back on the map i just realized that um going out of their way to I'm gonna go back a little bit to 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 mark this. Um, going out of the way to watch the video. Train of thought lost, but yeah, if you imagine them going out of the way, that's just it's kind of surreal. Now imagine that with a bigger YouTuber, just I don't know, Jack Septic guy, a million people just watch one of his videos, like. You, there's no way. There's absolute. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty dense. There's no way that you can't imagine that. You you can't visualize twenty stadiums, huge football stadiums filled with people watching one of your videos. Like I'm not saying that you will be that you're disconnected, but that's just not a thing that you can really put into perspective unless you see it and even then what are you seeing you're, you're gonna see like a huge mass of people i mean that's just at a certain point it just becomes numbers sure you know 500 you can imagine that you can imagine 500 people i actually like performed in front of like 500 people when i was in a band um you know as like uh part of like a like a uh, bigger thing not just for our band <laughs> um but yeah so like you can imagine that and it's kind of weird obviously nobody you know there's no viewing sessions where 500 people watch at the same time it's like everyone on their own you know in front of the room while you have some snacks you probably have tasty snack right now <gasps> you want seed hey you want you want seed I gave you I gave him wheat seed. Does that did that do the trick? Oh god, I want to be your friend so bad. There's a parrot. And I don't have wheat seed. Can do I have anything in my backpack? Let's see. Um I have beetroot seeds. Maybe they like beetroot seeds. Hi. Hey, do you like beetroot seeds? Doesn't seem like they're particularly interested in that. Ew, I have more wheat seeds. Let's try that again. I don't know. What what do they like? Cocoa beans? No, no, they do not like cocoa beans. By the way, never give your parrot a cocoa bean or chocolate. It's deadly. And I'm not just saying that. It most certainly will be. Yes, I agree. Will you come with me? Will you be my friend? I'm gonna need to sleep. So yeah, um, all of my rambling essentially comes down to uh, me feeling weird when people I personally know and see on a regular basis. Oh, are you following me now? Are you just... Yeah, when they watch my videos. So yeah, big shout out to you 
for watching my video. And again, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm wasting your time. Honestly, I feel like I'm wasting all of your times. You could be watching like... What, what are YouTubers always advertise? Like curio curiosity stream or Skillshare and get better at signing contracts. I don't know what what you do with Skillshare. I, I have a subscription, I'm pretty sure. And I think I watched one about was it writing? I don't recall. But yeah, yeah, you could you could be watching that. You could be watching something of value. Sure, it's a whole thing like, well, entertainment has a value. I guess it is. But why me? Why me? And please don't answer that. I'm just going to feel super awkward in the comments if you're going to explain that. Because I, you know, that's the nice thing about being a small channel. I can read all the comments and I do. Especially now that I'm like asking for title names for the episodes. Um, you might have noticed that I've been doing this for a few episodes now where um, after I upload a video, I say, you know, you name the episode or your title here, something along those lines. And then uh, before the next one comes up, I upload, um, I change that to the highest voted comment. Where's the train track? I think it's further this way. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be up here if I see the woods over there. It would be... Hmm. We'll find it. Anyways, so... Yeah. That is a thing I do with the voting. And the names. And uh, I'm really curious where that's going to go. But yeah, uh, I'm reading the comments. And whenever somebody says, like, I enjoy your videos because XYZ. <clears throat> I super appreciate it. It's, it's a nice pick-me-up. But I also can't, can't help but feel like I've pulled the wool over your eyes. It's like, oh yeah, you're just, you know, so genuinely interesting and you're just like a really... Uh, it's your voice now. You sound like Kermit a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so you're like super entertaining YouTuber and I really enjoy watching you. And all I can think is like, oh, that poor, poor person. Like, how did, how did I manage to fool them so badly it's, i guess it's imposter syndrome which, which which i guess is weird if you think about it because yeah it's not that this is like a giant channel i mean you know i guess a few hundred views per video is a very reasonable goal to reach on youtube if you'd started a youtube channel now it would you know and really stuck with it it wouldn't take too long to get to these numbers and it's not about, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, it's not about numbers, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is just, um, you know, what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say thank you in the most roundabout way. Like, that was me going on for about 20 minutes just to say, like, kind of thanks for watching, guys. I don't get it, but I appreciate it. I sure as heck do. Cool. We found our rails, we found our uh, train carts. So, quick look on the map tells me, hmm, that it might make sense. I, I kind of want to want to build a path towards the, um, the thing, the nether portal on one hand, but on the other, let's have a look at the numbers. So, this is minus 835, 64, and minus 1,462, which means it is quite literally um, 1,000, actually 2,000 blocks, and then another 600, like 2,600 blocks somewhere along those lines away. That's quite a lot of blocks, boys and girls and uh, all of you, everyone watching. That's, that's a lot of blocks. That's a lot of iron. I don't think it would be a good idea um, to do that, to, to, to even attempt to do this. One thing we could do is obviously uh, go in one direction and then move. Um, do I have any more meat? No, I don't. I also don't have a card. A cart would be great right now. Wait, I have a mine card with me. Why do I have a mine card with me? Where did I get that from? Anyway. Tempting, tempting idea. Let's just drive back 
over here. Yes. Uh, actually, I should have probably... Mm, very slowly. How about we just push this forward a little bit? Push it forward, I said. Just over to the... Down the hill. Oh, hey. Chest and whatnot. You stay here, right? Okay, good. Um, just gonna bring that with me, because now that I have a backpack, there's not really a reason to leave all of this stuff behind. Ooh, cool! Alright. Let's throw this stuff in the backpack, and then I'll sort it out when I get back to home base, which shouldn't take us much longer. I guess we were successful, overall. Um, what else? Do I bring the dirt? Ah, we can leave the dirt here. Just, just leave the dirt, weasel. Don't be, don't be such a silly boy. So, all right, let's go down the hill. What I want to do is, I want to get on the same, um, I guess this is the x-coordinate, the same x-coordinate, which would be 118. And once we are at 118, that's the same x-coordinate that the nether portal is at. And then we have a very accurate number, um, how far the portal is away, and how many, I guess, railway, railway pieces I would need to drive there. The question remains, though, why would I do that? Why would I even consider doing that? Yeah, we would have to go like another 600 steps, uh, 600 blocks, just in this direction. And then 2,000 this way. So yeah, about 2,600, as I said. <sighs> How many stacks is that? Let's do some Let's do some quick math on the jig. Uh, and we're going to, what, 2,600 divided by... How many do you get if you built like a rail thing? You get like 16, right? Or is it that rail? No, can't see it without the crafting table. I want to do some math now. Um, rail. All right, boys, we get 16, which means we're going to divide 2,600 divided by 16. Uh, leaves us with 162. And since 16 of those cost us six um, iron, and we're not even going to look into the power, we would need 972 iron just, just to connect that. I'd much rather go into the nether and build a path there, and then build rails in the nether. And frankly, I think that would be really cool to reach these distances. There isn't even anything of interest there. It was just, you know, a fun experience to go and check that out. What I will do, though, is I'm going to start writing down um, the various coordinates just for myself. I could install a map mod, and I'm considering doing that. I might have a map mod for the next episode. Because, you know, writing down stuff is one thing. But something to track it would be neat. Yes, I know, it's not vanilla, but making multiple maps, I don't know, man. Would be nice to have something to just refer to in the future. Given that we didn't walk very far in the um, nether, this block is very far away. Uh, the, what am I saying? Our base is very far uh, is very far away. Oh, there's Horsey Make Horse Face. Oh wait, why are we? No, no, no. Oh, because there's another card. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Give me that. Absolutely not. Yep, there's just another cart. All right, uh, that was a that was a fun in between episode. I want to say we didn't necessarily get anything done, but we know how far away we got from home base. I get to talk your ear off for quite some time, and we're ending on this beautiful shot with cows watching. So yes, again. In my very roundabout way, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, sticking with me for almost 30 episodes now playing Minecraft, which was kind of scary, uh, but it turns out to be a great old time. Oh, good. We're, we're ending on the rain. That's always good. That's not gloomy at all. 
Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye.